Okay guys, as part of my not been keeping up with everybody, I've just not been keeping up. I still have two bags of mulch sitting here. Um, we did manage to mow that all down so everything's gone, the flowers, everything that was there. Uh, my strawberries never really accumulated to anything. I'm pretty sure that I just didn't um, plant them correctly. I'm not even sure as far as um, what's in here that would even be a strawberry. Um, this looks like it could be a strawberry leaf. However, it's very like stringy, so I don't think that is. Um, however, I have decided that this is going to be tilled again which I really didn't want to do because I wanted to give the strawberries a chance to come back next year. However, I feel like all this weed stuff is just too much of a competition. So this is getting tilled again and I'm going to pick up even the pavers again. And I'm putting down a weed tarp and then I am going to um, cover this whole thing with a weed tarp and get underneath the pavers so we don't have any more of this coming up hopefully and next year i will you know early spring put the holes in for the strawberries and do a little bit more homework on that to make sure that i am planting them correctly and hopefully have strawberries and i am going to measure this and calculate it and i am going to get the most that i can out of this however bam Look at these. So, um, this area was basically dead. I mean, it wasn't giving me anything. And now I can't even keep up on the, the cucumbers. I have so much that I just have not been able to eat at all. Um, some of it is kind of, eh. Like, this one down here is pretty funny looking. I don't know if you could see it. It's on the ground. However, I have... This one back here, which I'll be taking off today because it is plenty big and just ready. Look at that beast. Um, oh, okay, keep this leaf out from, I'm gonna show you if I can get my hand in here. So, yeah. So that's gonna be another cucumber I'm gonna take in. But I wanna show you guys, um, let's see. So this is a small one. Get my hand behind this one now all right so that's how small they usually are um, okay and then as they get bigger they start to look like this um, sorry guys I'm having difficulty getting around all these all right and then they get a little bit bigger and they start to get a lot bigger and guys, these are just the random steps. I mean, before you know it, they're about that big. Now, this right here, these, um, you know, they're a little bit wider than my hand, uh, well, lengthwise. And um, that one on the floor over there, see it right there um, was about the size of these maybe four days ago so they get really big fast um, I still have tons of flowers on this plant so I thought about planting another cucumber plant however I just I don't see a reason this thing is gonna give me cucumbers I think for at least another month and that's about what I need now my pumpkin plant um, is really wanting to come out into the world um, and I really don't want it on the hot pavement so I'm trying to encourage it to go back into the garden bed um, I'm just hoping I mean I have flowers again all the flowers were gone before and I wasn't getting any so I'm hoping that's a sign that I'm going to start to see some pumpkins because if not, I'm just not going to have any pumpkins this year, um, which 
Some of it's my neglect, not dealing with the weeds earlier, and then some of it was those squash plants that just took control. All right, this is my um, apple crystal cucumber plant. Now, this beast has yet to give me any cucumbers, so I've not tasted any of them. However, I am starting to see some flowers in here. So, I'm hoping and praying um, that means I'm going to have some fruit soon. Um, I'm just not seeing any yet. And I've not tasted this yet. I don't know if I like them. So... Ouch. Um, for those who don't know, squash and cucumber plants are kind of prickly. I wonder if I could get this one. Oh, great. It's attached itself to a basket. Come on, buddy. All places. Let's see. Alright. Come on. Serves me right. Because, you know, if my porch was cleaned properly, ow, I wouldn't have this problem. But I need to encourage this to grow up instead of over onto my porch. So I'm hoping give this bad boy some stuff to grow onto. It'll grow up. All right, guys. Um, that pumpkin plant is not much of anything. I don't know why. It just never did anything. Ow. I'm out here in socks and flip flops, guys, because I'm cold inside my house and I remembered I wanted to do a video and get it out to you guys because I said I would. All right. So, I still have. See how green? These are my peanuts. They're still pretty green. Um, but they look like they've spread out a lot, so I don't want to disturb them. My sunflower plant. Let's see. See the snot? Ugh. I tried to get it to stay up and it wouldn't. I'm going to come out and cut it. However, some of my pumpkin, not pumpkin, some of my peanut plants are starting to change colors. Like that one. Very yellow. So, from what I read, there we go, right there, how yellow those are. That's supposed to be a sign that they're ready. Um, my problem with that is not all of them are. Some of them are still green. So I need to do some reading and see if I can leave those in until all of them are yellow. Or am I going to lose the ones that are yellow by letting them sit there too long? I don't know. Um... I know that pile over there is just a lot. They have definitely multiplied and spread out, um, which I'm super excited about. My aloe plant did come back to life. Um, I am going to cut off the outside pieces. I think, not 100% sure because I feel like they're going to die off anyway this winter, that maybe I should leave those, but who knows. All right, guys, this area was not weeded. Um, I was afraid to mess around around my peanuts so again that'll be something that I consider doing this year at the end of um, this I don't know if I'm gonna actually weed it or I mean not weed it I don't know if I'm gonna actually put a weed tarp down or if I'm just gonna do a thick mulch um, I don't know it's hard to make that decision because with peanuts, I'm definitely going to pull that that tarp up in order to get to my peanuts. 
so I don't know I don't know let me know what you guys think um is there like a thick reusable tarp that I could put down maybe I use a real tarp instead of a weed cloth but then is it going to get enough water I don't know but for now that's what I'm looking at just a few flowers left in there that sunflower fell and it's done that sunflower fell and it's done um, this one I did stake but as you can see um, its days are done um, this one's coming up almost ready and then that one over there is coming up and almost ready I do enjoy the sunflowers however I don't feel like they're as sturdy as I wanted them to be um, I found it weird that I have to stake them um, for them being naturally a tall flower I thought that they would just you know um, get a nice thick stem and hold themselves up but it doesn't seem like any of them I mean they get about that tall before I start to have issues this one right here I don't know if you could see but that right there is actually part of the stem over there is right there about is where it's planted so it should be standing up right there but instead it fell and then it started coming up towards the Sun so what I did is I staked it there because I didn't want to break the stem trying to straighten it up so just super weird I expected uh, better growth out of them um, just to stand up better all right guys other than that I did want to give you a quick shot of that I don't know if you can see from here but Adam on the other side of the arbor is now taller than my arbor um, he has grown a good three feet in the last few weeks so we're hoping for a cooler winter um, we'll see what that brings other than that I mean the only really big adjustment out here is I don't know if you could see but right there was where Kane was and he's gone <laughs> Polly uh, went by with the lawnmower and I don't know if it was the wind from the lawnmower or if he just got too close or what had happened but it it just basically fell over it was rotted from underneath um, it just it never ever made itself at home I guess um, we will be contacting the place that we bought it from to see if we get a replacement this coming year um, possibly grabbing one like this um, it was a granny smith so we want one that's a little bit more established like this rather than the the bare root um, I mean these were bare root as well but these were uh, they were older and they had produced fruit the year before even though they didn't produce for me this year they had produced fruit the year before so I think we're gonna do the same with the Granny Smith um, we probably will not get apples from it this coming year like we didn't get any from these year but this year from these but we're hoping this coming year we're gonna get some from these um, just hoping that the stress um, and the mild winter that we had was part of the reason we didn't get any fruit from these um, we just really didn't have any cold hours or chill hours and um, if you guys know apple trees um, any fruit tree really needs a certain amount of chill hours and these are supposed to be okay for our area but we really truly had a mild winter for our area so you throw that on top of the fact that we don't normally get um, a heavy winter to begin with I'm pretty sure that's why we didn't get any fruit on these this year, but that's okay. Um, the same thing goes for the pear tree on the other end. The pear tree has been just growing. Um, I'm confident we're going to get pears from it next year. Um, that's the pineapple pear, the two kefirs. Um, we're still waiting to get branches out on those. They're kind of more like just a, a stick in the mud is what we call them. Um, they have leaves on them, but they're just one straight stub. We're waiting for them to branch out and get some true branches on them or I'm not even sure what you call them but um, so I think we have at least a couple years on the two kefirs for the pears but the pineapple pear I think we might actually get some this year 
Um, the peaches did okay this year, so I'm confident we're going to get more next year. Um, the bone in the back gave us 30 peaches. However, if you were watching my previous videos, you'll see that we had to fight the squirrels for those peaches. So in the end, we, we ended up with some very small ones in like five. Um, we still have that area that we need to kill the remaining azalea disaster. <laughs> um, it was just really, really hot during the summer here. So I give it another month or so and we'll be able to start working on that again. All right, guys, I know I've been falling short, so this video is a little bit long. Um, however, I just wanted to give you guys an update on this area. This has finally started to give me um, food. Um, we were really starting to think that I just epically failed on cucumbers. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, damage on these leaves if you look at them. Um, some of it I feel like is just because we're so hot. And normally I would go through and take anything that looked diseased, dried, wilted, spotted. However, um, with our days getting up to a feel like of 107 some days, I just feel like every bit of shade that they're producing is needed. So I'm leaving them all there. If it dies off, it dies off. Um, I'm getting more cucumbers than I could eat. So um, just from this one plant right here. And once that starts plant um, actually producing something, I'm thinking this one will stop and then that one's gonna become um, my producer. And then it'll be time to, you know, stop growing cucumbers because the weather will be changing and I'll be changing my idea of what I'm growing. So um, for now, I'll see you on the flip side and be blessed.